Do you want to earn more income? You got to change one thing first, your mind set. It's set. I'll tell you a little experience I experienced not too long ago. I was coaching with my coach, Bill, and he says, Amanda, you've done very well in business and how much are you making on an annual basis? I told him and he was like, great. How long have you been doing that? I said, probably about three years, the same level. He said, you know, you can achieve more, right? I said, yeah, I know that. He said, well, what's holding you back? I said, you know, I don't know. I think I've actually just got comfortable, maybe even a little bit bored of my life, just doing the same thing every day, getting the same income. And I was comfortable. He said, you've set your thermostat. You got to a level and you are thinking the same thoughts that is getting you the same results. Your thoughts put you in a vibration. That's your energy. So I kept thinking the same thoughts. So I'm going to give you some tips today on how to increase your mindset to a higher mindset so you can achieve more and not be stuck in that comfortable mode doing the same thing every day. Most people have a goal of making around $5,000 a month. So here's how you're going to change your mindset. You ask yourself a question. Let's say you want to quit your job and to do that, you wanna make around 5,000 a month. So you're gonna ask yourself the question, what would it take to make $5,000 a month? Your mind is like Google. It always has an answer to every question. So stay in that thought long enough, your thoughts, your body, your mind is connected and it's gonna give you thoughts that are equal to 5,000. That now that you're receiving that thoughts, you gotta take action. But now that gives you the thoughts to quit your job. But now you quit your job. What has really helped me, and it's gonna help you too, is to create different goals. Change your mindset from $5,000. What if you asked yourself a question of, how can I make $100,000 a month? Now you put that question in your mind and it starts looking for opportunities. I started doing that, raising my income level to past three years, just raising it on up there. I mean, really big goals. And now my thoughts that are coming to me, I feel like Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. I'm getting those kind of thoughts. And let's imagine that a hundred thousand is such a big goal for you. Well, what happens if you actually went out and you made some results and let's say you got 50,000 a month, would you be happy with that? So the key here to change your mindset, is change your goals. So don't just think little thoughts, think big thoughts. So instead of that 5,000, I want you to raise it to 100,000. Ask your mind that question and listen to your thoughts. It's the thoughts that create the feeling, the vibration, which creates your results. So if you have the $100,000 thoughts, it's gonna put you in an energy We're all frequency. As you know, our cell phone's on a frequency. You turn the radio, the TV, it's all on frequency. So if you're on a $5,000 a month energy zone frequency, that's what you're gonna attract. So raise it up to a bigger goal. Now, those thoughts, those feelings put you in a vibration. That vibration dictates your results. So now all of a sudden, you're gonna be taking more action than ever. These thoughts are coming to you and you just change your mindset. So raise your goals, even if it makes you uncomfortable and you think that couldn't be possible. Write out your goal as if it's already happened. In your journal every day, I can't pound enough about this. Your I am statement, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning $100,000 a month. I'm so happy and grateful now that My business makes a million dollars a year. You write it down as if it's already happened. Step one. Step two, write out how your life is gonna change when you start making $100,000 a month. How it's gonna change. I'm so happy and grateful that I make $100,000 a month. Now that I do this, I'm able to travel around the world. My family just got back from Hawaii. It was amazing. I didn't have to worry about keeping the checkbook in my pocket and not spending money because I know it's always coming to me. I got back, I jumped in my new Ferrari, got into the 
house of my dreams on the hill. See what I'm doing? You're painting an image in your mind. Walt Disney did this the best. Thoughts become things. Everything you have in life right now, it first started with a thought and it became a thing. And so when you're creating in your mind, you're getting emotionally involved. If it's already happened, you're changing your vibration to a higher level and all of a sudden it puts you in an action state and you, you attract exactly the things you need to help you fulfill your dreams. The hardest thing about all of this is that our mind is set. <laughs> the set means that you got there, you're comfortable. In order to do something different, it's gonna make you uncomfortable. You're gonna start thinking in your mind about doubt. So if you're like, well, you know, if I quit my job, what if I could do it for a month? And then I went back down to, this, to not having any sales. And so now you took your thoughts, you created a negative thought, which puts you into a vibration that's not favorable and then you don't take action, there's no results because you're scared. Fear, false evidence appearing real. I'm gonna go back to one of my clients that's on the water now, his name's Brandon from the bank. He's getting ready to do some big things in his life. But yet he asked me, do you think like I should give up with the job? I said, my friend, the job is what's holding you back. If you have a little money saved away, you believe in yourself enough, Go out there and take action. Because if you don't, the worst pain is the pain of regret. You're gonna just tiptoe quietly to your grave, never doing the things you want. What if you couldn't fail? You can't. Because if you focus on what you want long enough, you're not gonna fail. You're gonna to get to your goals. It's when you start having that fear, the limiting beliefs, the people around you, the self-sabotage, all these things procrastinate us. So that's the hardest thing about this whole mindset is getting past your own self, getting past the environment that we're living in. Stop letting the bank account control you. And why I'm saying this is because, as you know, I have programs that teach people step by step by step on how to build a brand online, offline, and go out there and get results. Here's the downside. There's a cost associated with that. And because of that, people don't take action and because they're letting the bank account control them. If you knew how much money that I've spent over the last nine years on personal development, you would be shocked. It's a lot of money that I've spent because I know the more knowledge I have, the knowledge you're comfortable, you know what you know what you know, and you can go out there and help other people. And the more the value goes up in yourself. So you've got to take action if you want to have results, all right? So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, be happy, be healthy, and be free.